This crowd is ready as we get set for the World Series. Game one is next. from Angel Stadium in Anaheim. Coming up, game one of the World Series on MLB The Show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Los Angeles Angels. John Shambi on the play-by-play -play with you. Chris Singleton providing the color. There may be no better atmosphere in all of baseball than game one of the Fall Classic, Singy. Lots of excitement to get this thing started. Yeah, and the players feel that just as much as the fans. You're down there with goosebumps, and these players are just trying to stay in the moment. But I'll tell you, for the home team especially, it's so hard not to be emotional and hyped yeah. up with all the energy in this building right now. And on the other side, of course, you're looking to swing home field advantage your way with an all-important opening win on the road. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to roll. And on the mound in this one, Michelle Guzman. What should we keep an eye on here? She put on a clinic her last time out. Strikeouts just seemed like every other hitter Leading was walking back to the Dodgers. dugout. We'll see if that's the, the case again baseman. in this one. Freddie okay, all set to go. And now the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. The wind of the pitch. There Freeman tries to check his swing. Now he'll look to third, and that's going to be ruled a swing. Here comes a pitch. Well, second pitch of this game, and already getting squeezed a little bit. She deals. A little out front there as he swings through it. On its way to the corner. And that will drop foul. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and she got him. And now one away. Got a pitch to hit right there with two strikes, but just couldn't get a piece. Tell you what, that screwball is so right. unique, and it's so rarely right. seen. I, I think it can be tough for any hitter just to get a piece of it, no matter where it's placed. As a hitter, you're just not used to seeing a pitch moving that way and getting on the same plane as it comes into the hitting zone. This is Bryce Terang. There's a strike. One down, base is empty. In the air, out towards left center. Ward makes the grab. Two up, two down. That incurred. Here's Mookie Betts now. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit, you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Swing and a miss as he was out front. One ball. 
A wind and a pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. It's the Dodgers nothing. Angels coming up. You're watching the World Series on the show. Michelle Guzman getting ready to hit. Singing, even casual fans have heard this player's name. Of course, she's the rare major leaguer who both pitches and hits. I mean, you're talking about a rarity both historically and in the modern game. Yeah, and you don't have to be Babe Ruth or Shohei Otani for this to be impressive. She's proved her tremendous talent by taking the two way role this far. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. Touchdown. She sends it out of here. The Angels on the board first. It's 2 nothing, And that's her fifth straight game leaving the yard. And boom, if she goes a game or two without hitting a home run, she's going to feel like she's going to get sit down to the minor leagues. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, she made him pay. Back here at Angel Stadium, now it's the DH, Shohei Otani. There's a good feel in the ballpark, and that's what you expect when the home side has the lead in game one. This energy is going to keep building with every out. The 0-1. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Nothing like postseason baseball. There's a buzz in the air. Every pitch seems bigger. It's truly special. The 0-2. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the blade. Once you're ahead, 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Here's Max Muncie, that funky Muncie. There really is a different feel to the postseason. I only got five games of postseason action in my playing career, but I treasured each of them. One down, base is empty. Just missed. And now two balls and a strike. Garrett Richards, a guy who was originally a first-round pick of the Angels out of the University of Oklahoma. The Halos leading by two here in game one of the World Series. Next offering in there for a strike. That's strike two. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Yeah, there's no doubt, bro. Electric stuff from the jump. I mean, there's just no messing around right now. It's still very early, but we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. Teoscar Hernandez stands in now and watches strike one. Hernandez, a former All-Star, Batting sixth in today's lineup. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. That one finds the zone. And it's nothing in two. The pitch. 
just missing there. One and two to count. It's a good take. And down on strikes he goes. And it's a three up, three down inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They trail it here, two nothing. Set for the start of the inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Will Smith. The pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. And the righty deals. There's the strike at the knees. She's got a great feel for her breaking ball today. for strike three. Well, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking yeah, to protect. Man. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. I'll tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. And now it's Gavin Lux. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, one's the count. And he lays down a bunt. Nope, and that's foul. just foul. The Angels up by two here in game one. Swings and misses. Picks up strikeout number seven. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. She's looking very much on her game in the early parts of this one, move. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already. So she's got a good pace going, no doubt. Tommy Edmond at the plate. In the air, left field. Ward drifts towards it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Get your pitch and drive it, kid. Here you go. Now back, the designated hitter. Michelle Guzman. Line drive, and that's a fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely, it's a double, and her second hit. Well, Singy, she is locked in there. She's really slowed the game down, and it's like she's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that she squared up that baseball tells me that she is seeing it like a beach ball. And now batting Mike Trout. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Now he breaks his bat. Throw on to Freeman. That's the third out. Inning over. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one left. On to the fourth now in game number one. Angels two and the Dodgers nothing. Game one of the World the Series. The Freddie Freeman the up to the dish. Freddie Freeman. Guzman back to work. 
pitches in there and that is strike one. You know these Dodgers to put it bluntly need to put together more competitive at bats and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. Strikeouts are a little easier to stomach in baseball today but even by those standards they're going down way too often and I think they're having a hard time getting any momentum going as a result. Throws the first in time and one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. She's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind her with another ground ball. Good execution. Bryce Terang will hit next. Fly to left his first time. That one finds the zone. It's 0 and 1. She's just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. The Dodgers down by a pair. Top half of inning number four. and she struck him out. Two down. Put that screwball up there and got, got him out. to swing through it. Right it's here. kind of part right changeup, part curveball, yeah. or reverse curveball, I guess, and clearly it's got some good movement on it. We just don't get to see a good one very often, so it's kind of fun to see, and that was a great one right there. Betts in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next offering in there for a strike. And no that goal. is strike two. Right. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So 12 up, 12 down to begin the ball game. Angels two, and the Dodgers nothing. Back in Anaheim, we go to the top of the fifth, and now the DH, Shohei Otani. All around, I think if you asked anyone in this organization, who's the best hitter in the lineup, they would say him. And a pitch. That one finds the zone. One one. These fans have to feel good right about now. This series is not going to be easy, but they have the lead at home in game one. That brings the anxiety down a few notches. Next offering in there for a strike. Only two now. Good eye right there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Now at 10 K's with still a few innings left so expect her to add on to that total and you know pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean that's excellent work uh, the way it looks now. I mean she's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Muncie batting with one down takes a strike. One thing with Max Muncie and it'll be interesting to see what he throws here. He hammers the fastball. And a big swing and a miss. Oh, the changeup right there just pulled the string. Just missed. One down, base is empty. Ripped on the ground a second. Gets it to first, oh. and that quickly two away. Up next to the Godfather, the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Went down on strikes his first time through. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first. And he held back according to Ricky Holiday. 
The Dodgers yet to pick up a hit here. Next offering in there for a strike. Now one and two. Oh, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. And the right-hander deals. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Dodgers down in order. They're still down. It's two zip. And welcome back to the ballpark. And up to the plate is Will Smith. The why to kick the pitch. That one at the knees for a strike. When a pitcher's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you've got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into her pitch count and into the bullpen, but you've got to take what she's offering that day. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. And down on strikes. One down. Now oh, there's a three pitch strikeout. She can do whatever she wants with the baseball right now. The cookbook. Gavin Love. Gavin Lux now at the plate. Struck out on just three pitches last time. That one fouled off. And right back to the mound. Over to first. And a couple of quick outs. The center fielder, number 25. Tommy. And here comes Tommy Edmund. Edmund. He's 0 for 1. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Two down, nobody on. And we're the top half of the sixth. Lifted in the air, right field. And makes the play, and that's out number three. And we're back. And now it's the power speed combo. Michelle Guzman. Michelle Guzman. The pitch. Swung on. Belted. Hernandez. Drop step. Going back. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. Another homer. Her second home run of the game. And they tack on to their lead. It's 3-0. Singy, the ball is jumping off her back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Man, she just barely got that one out of here, and you've got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. Back here at Angel Stadium, we go to the top of the seventh. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Guzman back to work. Strike one. Swings through that one. Kicks and fires. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. 
Well, that at-bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at-bat. Bryce Terang steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That one ripped, but foul. She's been going after these hitters consistently, and as a result, she's been able to keep her pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. One down, base is empty. Swinging a foul straight back. The 2 Got it by him for the K. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, she's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the right fielder, Mookie Betts. That's in there. Strike one. The Dodgers still looking for their first hit in this one. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. That curveball's been a big pitch for her today. She's been able to get ahead in the count with it. She's also been able to use it to put hitters away. Got him looking, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. The perfection continues. 21 straight have been retired. It's the Angels 3 and the Dodgers nothing. So two down, and next is the designated hitter, Michelle Guzman. Three for three, she's got a double and a pair of home runs. That smash towards center. He's there. He's got it. And that ends the inning. Back in Anaheim. Shohei Otani up to the, the dish. Shohei. And the right hitter back to work. It's no secret teams need strong starting pitching to win in the postseason. Your game one starter can set the tone for the series. And it feels like that's what's happening tonight. He really delivered for his team by going deep into this game. All one there. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Pulls the string with the changeup. Struck him out. And now it's Max Muncy. Still a ways to go, but this is can't miss stuff right now. That one finds the zone. Strike one. The Halos leading by three here in the late stages of game one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Got him swinging. The bat. The bat. And now Teoscar the Hernandez, Hernandez. who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. In there at the knees. The Dodgers trailing by three. And we're in the top of the eighth. Swing and a miss. And it's 0 and 2. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. 
Dodgers go down quietly. They trail it here, three nothing. And we're back. And now the catcher comes up to him. Will Smith. And all eyes on the mound as she begins the ninth inning working on a perfect game. And that one clips the corner. Boom, I'll tell you right now, every player defensively on their toes like never before. That breaking ball is in for a strike and quickly it is nothing in two. Kicks and deals. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. Good pitch right there. I mean, she's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information, but the players that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating, that's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. Just missed. They want to make sure they have the opportunity to put this pitcher in the history books. They're going to make the play. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. Goes down looking. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Tommy Edmund. And this is it. One out away from perfection. That one's in there. And that's strike one. They're down to their final strike. The pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count. At times, pitch to contact, let the defense work behind her. That's why she's still in the game here in the ninth inning. Just outside. Now one and two. You just don't see it that much anymore, a pitcher being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if she's going to be able to close it out. There's just something about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, she's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. The Dodgers down to their final strike. Righty delivers. Got it. And that'll do it. Just unbelievable. I was nervous up here in the booth. I can only imagine what her teammates and even she felt out there on the mound closing this thing out. Everyone will remember this perfect game. It'll be notched in Cooperstown forever. Not a ton of offense to chat about as we look at the final numbers, but this was a good one. Yeah, it was a low-scoring game, Boo, but sometimes those can be the best, especially this time of year. A shutout in this one, 3-0 our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.